Okay, we should be back. Tenemos 10 segundos más. Bueno, que regresan todos. And we are done. Okay. Vamos a iniciar desde los grupos de abajo y vamos a ir hacia arriba. Tenemos el grupo número 6 para iniciar, que serían Francisco López y Pablo Ábrego. Ok. Pueden iniciar, lo escuchamos. Francisco López y Pablo Abrego, lo escuchamos. Hello. Francisco está por ahí. Creo que todavía no. <risa> no. Y que le estaba fallando la señal. Ah, ok. Vamos entonces con room number four. Sería Carla, Patricia, Oscar, Noé y Tatiana y Bon. Por favor, lo escuchamos. Good evening, Pedrito Hotel. How can I help you? Good evening. I need a room. How many people do you need your room? Only for me. What service do you need? I need breakfast in the room at 7 a.m. What other service do you need? Anything else, thank you. When day do you need your reservation? Um, 30 hours. If we have room available for that day? Uh, how much that is the cost? It costs a uh, $120 for night. Perfect, thank you. Your room is reserved. It will be a pleasure to reserve you. Thank you. Oscar participate. Oscar no estuvo con ustedes. No, eh, pues, no, no lo vimos oh, conectado. Perfect. No, no hay problema. Thank you. Very good, Tatiana and Carla. Your conversation was very fluent. La conversación fue bien fluida. You were using correct grammar and correct vocabulary. So very good job. Thank you. Thank Vamos con room number two. Tenemos a Carol Escalante eh, y Manuel Alfredo Hernández. Ok, Miss. Ready, Carol? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes. Ok, ok. Ok. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Hotel El Emperador. I have you. Yes, my name is Carol Escalante. I have a reservation for two. Let me see, Carol, you say? No, I can't fin finish. How long ago did you make the reservation? Mm, about a two months ago. Do you know the exact, exact date? Mm, give me a second. I think I have it my agenda. Oh, yes, it was the 15th of July. Okay. I found it. The problem was that someone uh, forgot to write your name on the mail list. Um, is everything in order? Yes, miss. There's no problem. Fill out the registration card, please. Uh, here it is. How long are you planning to stay? Mm, two weeks, we will spend our vacation in a club. That sounds like fun. Here is your key. This room number is 30. 
Thanks for choosing us and enjoy your stay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for participating, Carol and Manuel. Quiero felicitarlos porque específicamente Carol y Manuel tuvieron bastantes problemas de conexión y aún así entregaron una conversación bien fluida, bastante buena la pronunciación y la gramática on point. So very good job, Carol and, and Manuel. Thank you. Y vamos a ver, Francisco López y Pablo Abrego, ¿y están listos? Yes, miss. Perfect, yay, ahí está, vamos. Okay. Hello, Orlando Travel Agency. My name is Pablo Abreu, what can I help you? Good morning, I need two tickets to travel to Italy. Okay. Uh, you want to travel and tourist or third class? In third class, please. Uh, the simple or double ticket? Uh, two round three tickets. Travel alone or accompanied? I travel accompanied. It will be two tickets. What day does it plan? to travel and what will be the return date? I will travel on November 20 and will return on November 25. What will be the payment method? Uh, the payment method will be the card. Will you payment uh, by MasterCard or Visa? It will, or visa. <laughs> it will be visa credit card uh, card number uh, nine eight three seven experience day uh, 2026 identity document uh, two eight eight two nine nine okay uh, send me the uh... Uh, the next WhatsApp, uh, five five uh, zero 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 zero. <laughs> Number the capture of the documents of the your car. It's okay. I send you the screenshot with my data. We will send your ticket by email with the date that uh, you in indicator as. Send me your email to WhatsApp, please. Uh, okay, uh, send them to this email, flopez at gmail.com. Uh, is there anything else that, that I can help you? Uh, no, thanks. Okay, I, have a nice day. Thanks, at the same. Very good. Thank you so much, Francisco and Pablo. Nice job. Very fluent conversation. Good grammar and pronunciation was done well as well. So thank you everyone who participated. Muy buen trabajo. Okay. Me alegra ver que ya ahora ya no los siento que están como con miedito de hablar. Ahora so now we're going to continue. We're going to go to page 40 on the student's manual. La página 40 en el manual del estudiante. And we're going to talk about hotel services and amenities. Okay? Porque están viendo aquí en pantalla. Lo que van a hacer ustedes es que van a decir, no, por ejemplo, eh, van a ocupar uno de los vocabularios que están en la cajita, se lo van a asignar a cada, a cada dibujito. Okay? For example, number eight, Wi-Fi internet. Pretty obvious, but <laughs> number eight, Wi-Fi internet. Entonces ustedes van a hacer los otros siete y van a decir cuál es el nombre de ese servicio. Okay? So, les voy a dar cinco minutos para que lo completen. 
solo le ponen en su cuaderno 1 y cuál es el vocabulario 2, cuál es el vocabulario. Y después de cinco minutos vamos a pedir voluntario y van a decir cuál es cuál, ¿de acuerdo? So you have five minutes to complete. Tienen cinco minutos para completarlo individual. Okay, let's check the answers. Number one, ¿quién tiene la número uno? Volunteers? Do we have number one? Volunteers? Wendy, please. Share service is seven. Shuttle service, it's number seven. Correct, Wendy, that is right. Carla Patricia, please. Well, teacher, uh, those. Mm -hmm. Laundry service. Yes. Number two is laundry service. Este dibujito de acá, ¿cuál sería? Number three. Digital in the room. Correct, fridge in the room. Thank you, Daisy. Number four, ¿qué sería el number four? Let's see. Wake Jen. up call. The wake up call. The wake up call, sí. Okay, and let's see number five. Is safe. Correct. Like the box. Yes. Safe, safe. Number five. Number six. Single room. Single room, exactly. Si se fijan, solo hay una cama y a eso le llamamos single room. 
okay and then well we have them all we got them already okay so for exercise number six you have to write a checklist about the types of services and amenities that you need for your next trip okay en esto ustedes van a hacer una lista de cinco cosas Cinco amenities o servicios que ustedes van a utilizar en su siguiente viaje, ¿ok? Si es que ya lo tienen planeado, pensado o pueden inventar, ¿ok? Pueden inventar. La idea es que escriban cinco cosas que van a utilizar en su siguiente viaje. For example, in my next trip, I am going to use a single room. I'm going to need a single room and I will use the laundry service for sure. I will not use the safe. No voy a utilizar transporte. I will not use the safe. But I will use the internet, the Wi-Fi internet. For sure, I'm going to need it, okay? And I am not going to use the shuttle service either, okay? Uh, the fridge, tampoco voy a usar la manera, okay? Van a hacer así como estábamos haciendo al principio, cosas que sí van a usar o que no van a usar. Pero esta, esta vez están hablando de su siguiente viaje. Ya sea que ya está pensado, planeado, o pueden improvisar e inventarlo. La idea es que ocupen el vocabulario relacionado a hotelería. ¿Ok? So, cinco oraciones que van a usar o no usar en su siguiente viaje. In my next trip. Y empiezan. ¿Ok? So, I'm going to give you five minutes for that. Le voy a dar cinco minutos para eso. ¿Ok? Son el 32. A partir de las 33 tenemos cinco minutos.
Okay, five minutes have passed. Let's hear the checklist. Ya pasaron los cinco minutos. Escuchemos las checklists que han hecho ustedes. Let's see. What things you're going to need on your next trip? ¿Qué cosas van a utilizar en su siguiente viaje? Okay. Volunteers, please. Do we have volunteers who want to share? Okay. Si no, vamos a preguntar. Carla Patricia, por favor. In my next trip, I will use uh, Wi-Fi, internet, single room, and shuttle service. Okay, very good. Thank you. And uh, let's see who's next. Let's see, Volunteers who want to share? Vamos a preguntarle a Elena Guadalupe. Elena, su checklist, por favor. My, in my next trip, I will use Wi-Fi internet, ship service, laundry service, I don't use wake up call, um, business center. Very good, nice, thank you. What about you, Tatiana? What are you going to use on your next trip? On my, on my next trip, I use, um, I use, um, say the box box and a snack bar to laundry server. And I, I will not include a pool because there are too many people, but I will walk to the beach at night and have a snack for the ride. I, I take a towel to live in the sun and enjoy the start. Very good, Tatiana. <laughs> Very fluent. Y Vicky volvió a utilizar there will be a snack bar. Very good. Very good. Yanni Gutierrez, please. What is your checklist? ¿Qué va a utilizar en su siguiente viaje? On your next trip, then. Yanni está por ahí. Si no, vamos con Wendy, por favor. Wendy está por ahí. Thanks, In my next trip, I will use service sauna gas. The pussy is relaxing and use the pulse. Very good, Wendy. Thank you. Let's see, Oscar Noe, por favor. What is your checklist? What are you going to use on your next break, Oscar? My checklist the type service I need Wi Fi, cable TV, use of soccer feet, and extra towels. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Oscar. Nice. Thank you to everyone who participated. Okay. Now, moving forward, we go to page 41. And then we're going to talk about travel plans. Justamente por eso el checklist les preguntaba que van a usar en su siguiente viaje. We're talking future. Okay. And we're talking about travel plans, planes de viaje. So the question reads, do you prefer to stay in a modern or an antique hotel when you travel? Modern or antique hotel when you travel? Do you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you? Okay, 
Y en este escenario vamos a pretender, si no viajamos o si no nos quedamos o no nos quedamos en hoteles, no importa. Vamos a pretender que sí lo hacemos y vamos a hablar de cómo lo hacemos. Nos dice, preferimos quedarnos en un hotel moderno, a modern hotel, o antique hotel, o un hotel antiguo, así vintage, bien retro, ¿ok? De los hoteles rústicos, digamos, ¿ok? Cuando viaja, ¿qué tipo de hotel le gusta visitar? ¿En qué tipo de hotel le gusta quedarse? ¿Ok? Y la siguiente pregunta, usualmente, ¿quién hace sus reservaciones de hotel? ¿Las hace usted o se las hace alguien más? ¿Ok? In my case, when I travel, y voy a empezar con esta parte final. When I travel, in my case, when I travel, I prefer to stay in a modern hotel. I prefer to stay in a modern hotel because in my imagination, modern it's cleaner. En mi imaginación, cuanto más moderno, más limpio. In theory, in teoría. So yeah, I prefer to stay in a modern hotel when I travel because I think it's cleaner. Porque yo creo más limpio. And usually, someone else does my reservations. Por lo general, alguien más me hace las reservaciones. Usually, Another person makes the reservations. I don't make them myself. Okay? Se van a hacer exactamente eso. Van a contestar esas dos preguntas en conversación ahorita. Vamos a entrar a las salas y van a discutir eso. ¿Qué tipo de hotel le gusta usar cuando se viaja? ¿Moderno o antiguo o rústico? ¿Y por qué? Yo les dije, a mí me gusta el moderno porque siento que es más limpio. ¿verdad? Así que no tiene que ser una gran conversación. Pero ¿Cuál y por qué? Y luego, si usted hace su reservación o si se la hace alguien más, ¿quién se la hace? ¿Ok? So, vamos a entrar a las salas. Les voy a dar cinco minutos porque se nos van a hacer dos preguntitas. Entonces, las van a discutir rapidito y regresamos. Y luego me comentan lo que hablaron con sus compañeros. Las salas están abiertas ahorita. Tienen cinco minutos.
Ok, regresamos todos a la sesión. For room number two, we have Elena, Carol, and Manuel. Do you prefer to stay in a modern or antique hotel when you travel? And why? Ok. Eh, eh, the occasion that I have traveled, I prefer to stay in an old or rustic hotel because they are uh, cheaper and the attention is more friendly. Reser um, reservation are usually made by another person. Thank you, you Reservations are made by Thank you. Okay, who's next, Elena, Manuel? because to remember being from the past initially reservation okay thank you very good Elena thank you straight to the point director Punta. thank you uh, Manuel eh, yo lo que logré hacer nada más responder fue las dos preguntas Okay. Uh, I like the rustic hotel because uh, I am in contact with nature and the reservations are, are made by me. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Carla Patricia, Oscar, Nancy, Carol, Elena, Manuel. Very good. Thank you. Carla Patricia, Oscar, Noé, and Tatiana, Iwan, por favor. Oscar, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotel when you travel? When I travel, I prefer modern hotel because they have more amenities, its rooms, and good price. Do you usually make your hotel reservation, or someone also does it for you? I'm the one who pays for the hotel reservation. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Carla, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? I prefer a resting hotel because I like the old. Do you usually make your hotel reservation or some also does for you? I make my reservation. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, room number four. Very good. Tatiana. Go ahead, please. Tatiana, do you prefer to stay in a modern or antique hotel when you travel? I love rustic hotels because they are mm. usually surrounded by natural. Do you usually make your hotel reservation or someone else does it for you? I always book myself because my husband doesn't like it. Very good. Thank you, room number four. Very good job. Okay, who's next? Room number six, Francisco Lopez y Pablo Ávila. Por favor, escuchamos. Okay, uh, Francisco, do you prefer to stay in, in modern um, antique hotel when you travel? When I travel, I prefer antique hotels uh, because I like vintage and old. And you? And you, Pablo? Um, when I travel, I prefer to stay in modern hotel uh, for the comfort they possess. Uh, do you usually make your hotel reservation or some someone else does it for you? I I usually make my reservation. Uh, and, and you, Pablo? 
usually make the reservation because I like to be sure that it is done well. Okay, very good. Well, use the vocabulary, guys. Nice. Thank you. Okay, we have a conversation here. Ocupamos dos voluntarios. Uno para leer Jen y el otro para leer Gerard. Please. Volunteers. Tatiana, me ayuda leyendo Jen, por favor. Ocupo un voluntario más para leer la porción de Gerard. Daisy Elizabeth, por favor. Me lee lo que dice Gerard. Tatiana, you can start, please. Hello, that, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I am Gerald Gomez. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to Ariel on Friday. How long are you going to start with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Very good, thank you. Ocupo de los voluntarios más para leer esa misma conversación. Veamos. Two more volunteers. Carla, me ayude leyendo la parte que dice Jen y Manuel con Gerardo, por favor. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going out to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday. Uh, dear 14, 14. Uh, 14th. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay. Until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Very good. Thank you. Quiero que noten una parte importante de esto. Y que tenemos la conversación bien parecida a la que estábamos viendo anteriormente. Pero en esta, ya no está solo preguntando por los precios o, o sugiriendo las fechas, por ejemplo. En esta está diciendo específicamente going to arrive. When are you going to arrive? ¿Cuándo llega? ¿Cuándo es su día de arriba? Y, ella, y él dice, I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. Específicamente le dice, voy a llegar y ocupa ese auxiliar porque está seguro de que así va a ser. Be sure of that. Veamos la siguiente pregunta. Le dice, how long are you going to stay with us? ¿Qué tanto tiempo? ¿Por cuánto tiempo? How long? ¿Por cuánto tiempo o qué tanto tiempo? Are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? Okay. And then he says, I'm going to stay until Monday. Si se recuerdan, ya hemos hablado que para hablar en pasa en futuro simple, simple future, tenemos dos auxiliares. Tenemos future con will y tenemos future con going to. Okay. So right now, le voy a mostrar. We have like four minutes, so you not no problem. I'm gonna share you this, share with you the screen. Y acá tenemos going to. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer esta parte? Lo que está desde acá, ¿verdad? Look at the example, yeah. One volunteer to read. So le van a dejar esta en pantalla, esta parte de arriba. Okay. Volunteers, Daisy, please. I want it. Going to. I am going to buy a new car. Going to is not a tense. It is a special structure 
estricto that we use to tell about the teacher. The structure of going to is subject must be, must going, must to infinity. The verbs be, be is conjugator. 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 Look okay. at the example. Look at the examples. No vamos a leer los ejemplos ahorita. Pero quiero que guarden esa estructura. Igual lo vamos a ver el lunes cuando regresemos a ese tema. Ok. Sujeto más una versión del verbo to be. Am, is, o are. Luego el auxiliar going to. Y luego un infinitivo. Y las oraciones se ven más o menos así. I am going to buy a new car. I am going to watch TV after the class. Yo voy a ver tele después de la clase. I'm going to watch TV after the class. Okay? You are going to sleep after the class. Ustedes van a dormir después de la clase. You are going to sleep after the class, right? And so on and so forth. Como les digo, ahorita quería dejarles esto ya en mente, mostrárselos. Vamos a repasar esto lunes. Lo vamos a terminar de ver en práctica. Ejercicios. Y con este vamos a terminar la clase de ahora, ¿ok? Yona has the assistance, attendance. Vamos a pasar la lista de asistencia, attendance. Tenemos Carlos Wilfredo Carvajal. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Elena Guadalupe Andrade. Present. Thank you, good night. Francisco Sánchez night. López. Present. Thank you. Good night. Ingrid Joana Samayoa. Juan José García. Carla Patricia Peñata. Present. Thank you. Carol Elizabeth Escalante. Present. Thank you. Lucía Milagro Mejía. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Good night. Thank you, good night, Luis. Manuel Alfredo Hernández. Present, good night. Thank you, good night. Maylin Betsabe Guevara. Oscar Noé Magaña. Present, teacher. Thank you, good night, Oscar. Pablo Adalberto. Present, teacher. Thank you, good night, Pablo. Good night. Thank you, Inglés. José de Guadalupe Corpeño. Tatiana Ivonne Torres. Present teacher, good night. Thank you, good night. Wendy Marlena, si se puede quedar 10 minutos para la asesoría, si no el lunes también se puede, me dice. ¿Sí? Wendy Marlene Martínez. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present teacher, good night. You, good night, Jenny. Y Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Good night, everyone. Rodolfo está por ahí. Está por ahí, Roberto. 